Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Professor Nalin Thacker. I'm one of the vice presidents of this university. And it is my pleasure to welcome you all to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this ceremony. The graduation weeks are the most important events in the, our university's calendar. It is, of course, the time when we celebrate and recognize formally the achievements and the hard work of our graduates. Importantly, it's also the time when we have the privilege and the pleasure to host the families and friends of our graduates. We're delighted to see so many family members and friends and supporters here today. A very warm welcome to you all. We hope you enjoy our hospitality and have a wonderful day. We thank you for the support and encouragement you have given to our students during their studies, which has been so important in their success, which we are celebrating here today. I'm sure our graduates would like to thank you for your support. So graduates, please stand, face your families and friends, and join me and my colleagues in thanking you and your families, thanking your families and friends with a round of applause. Like all of us, you can be extremely proud of what they've achieved. Graduates, congratulations to you all on your hard work and magnificent achievements, particularly in the face of some notable adversity during your time here. It is important to put a context on your achievements. You've all met and adapted and overcome the challenges not known in a century, making your achievements all the more remarkable. The skills, knowledge, and experience you've developed during your time with us have given you a strong platform to not only build your career and achieve your goals, but also to succeed in face of any obstacles you meet in the future. When you decided to study at the University of Manchester, you chose to make your mark on the future, both for yourselves and for the greater good of society and environment as the first university in the UK to set social responsibility as a core goal, we encourage all our students to engage in transformational activities, both in their studies and beyond, to help them stand out, consider their place in the world, and make a difference. Throughout the course of your studies and life at Manchester, you'll have gained the skills and knowledge to find success and become responsible leaders of tomorrow. Although you may be glad to see the end of assignments for now, the planning, the research, and the critical thinking and writing skills you deployed and nurtured here will be of great value in the world of work, or perhaps during further study. The way you've balanced your commitment to academic life with other interests will help you find a work-life balance as your career and your future unfolds. And of course, we must not forget the strong, supportive friendships and relationships you have forged here, which I hope will sustain for many years to come. <clears throat> Put simply, your achievements cannot be overestimated given the challenging times that we have faced, not only as a community, but as a citizens of the world. As you reflect on your past, and plan for the future. Allow yourself to be inspired by the university's motto, knowledge, wisdom, humanity. We encourage you to boldly pursue new ideas and share and apply your knowledge and skills to benefit others. While these commitment, with these commitments in mind, you will continue to build on the success you've enjoyed in your studies and make a difference to the world around you. You can be confident that wherever you choose to live, work, and make an impact, the value of your degree will be widely recognized. Manchester is known as one of the world's leading universities, placed 28th globally and 6th in the UK in the QS University World Rankings. The last 12 months have seen the university demonstrate our research impact on our local, national, and a global scale. 
our submission to the Research Excellence Framework 2021, the UK-wide assessment of university research assessment performance, was one of the largest and broadest in the sector. Many of you here today will have been involved in this extraordinary effort. We were delighted with the results in which overall 93% of the university's research activity was assessed as world leading or internationally excellent. Beyond our reputation as a renowned center of academic excellence and pioneering research and discovery, we're proud of our well-established and recognized success in social responsibility. Earlier this year, this, fo this focus cul culminated in our university ranking first in the UK, first in Europe, and second globally in the Times Higher Education University Impact Rankings, which rates institutions on their contributions to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Indeed, we are the only university in the world to rank in the top 10 for social and environmental impact in every year of these global rankings. This fantastic achievement shines a light on our core values and recognizes what we can achieve together, delivering benefits for the good of society and transforming lives for the better. We're also delighted to present our eighth cohort of Stellify Achievers the Stellify program offers a unique and personalized set of activities to help you develop the distinctive attributes of a University of Manchester student, socially responsible, highly employable, and resourceful. We are very proud that many of you here today have taken part in Stellify activities during your time at the university. During your studies, you've all in your own way, enriched and contributed to the University of Manchester as it exists today. You've helped shape the future for those who will follow in your footsteps. The university is changing and will continue to change for the better because of you. So today is just as much about honoring you for this valuable contribution. Armed with your academic success, your skills, your breadth of experiences, there is every reason to be positive about the future. Your job prospects, having studied here, are enviable because employers all around the world recognize the value of a University of Manchester education. Today is a hugely important milestone, of course, and you should celebrate your success. But this is the beginning of the journey and your association with Manchester, not the end. The return on your investment and association with the university continues beyond today's celebrations. Our career service will continue to offer you help and support for three years, and you can continue to make good use of our world-class libraries. We are proud to have the largest alumni community of any campus-based university in the UK with over half a million graduates living and working in more than 190 countries around the world, all linking back to Manchester. The Alumni Association will help you connect with this community and remain in contact with the university. As alumni, you can help future students in so many ways. You're, of course, our best ambassadors. You can help with student placements and employment, and indirectly, and directly in the development of the university. You are vital to the future of this university. We sincerely hope today will not be your last contact with the university. Remember that our doors will always be open to you. This will always be your university. Finally, I would like to add that my colleagues and I consider it great honor and privilege to be involved in education of people of all ages and from all parts of the world. So a heartfelt thank you to you all from all of us for giving us the opportunity to play a part in your education. On behalf of the university, I congratulate all of you who are graduating here today on your excellent academic achievement, and I wish you every success in your future careers. 
Leave here today with justified pride in what you've achieved. Be a credit to yourselves, to your families and friends, to the communities in which you live and serve, to your chosen professions and to your university. Be always be inspired by our university's motto, knowledge, wisdom, humanity. Thank you. I'm now very pleased to introduce Siobhan Clark to deliver the commencement speech. Siobhan is a double alum from Manchester University. She has a passion for application of deep science and technology to address difficult problems with a 23-year career across three continents, spending time in London, Singapore, and San Francisco. She has the insights from selling and investing in technology alongside over 10 years of non-executive board experience. She, she shared some of these insights through her first book, the Founder, the Founder Handbook, I believe the first in a series of books to come. Siobhan currently lives in London with her partner Juan and Argentine where they share a joint passion for great food, rugby, and hiking through tough hills. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming Siobhan. I am deeply honored to be here with you today. It's a privilege to be in this hall where so many have sat before where so many ideas have begun, and so many exceptional individuals, just like you, have started on the next stage of their journey. It's also my privilege to extend my deepest congratulations to all of you on graduation. You can all now breathe a sigh of relief and breathe in this new space, this new you that belongs I extend that congratulations to the parents, to the partners, to the families and friends that are supporting in all your individual journeys. I've been lucky enough to be a double alum from Manchester, both in 2000 in a master's in engineering and again in 2008 with an MBA. On those occasions, I sat here too with my friends, family and surrounded virtually by those that were committed to me. I was graduating full of excitement and to a whole world of possibilities, ready to commit to my future. On both of those occasions, let's be honest, I just wasn't entirely sure what that meant. I just knew I was committed. The reality is then, now and in the future, we have so many possibilities, a multiverse of options, and a world of ever-evolving economic and geopolitical change and rapid technology adoption. We have expanded what it means to work. We've expanded what it means to be committed. I've had a career to date that has enabled me to live in six different countries, spanning three continents, going across large-scale technology movements in cloud to the compelling climate emergency and energy security, from small niche consultancy to one of the largest global energy players. And throughout that time, I've come to know what commitment means. Commitment, it, it's more than a word. It's a very powerful driving force, and it has many layers it's an act of being true to oneself, knowing why I was there, knowing my values, my principles. And that's a lifetime act in getting to know that. Commitment is a generous and attentive give to a particular moment. Whether that moment is three months on a client project, two years on a multi million pound global sales deal or five years in a billion pound fund that is shaping the acceleration to net zero. It's attentive and it's a generous give. And finally, commitment is a bond. It's an allegiance to those that have helped me along my way. Friends, this university, my family, my partner. 
But commitment also has a dark side, as it's an engagement, it's an obligation, and that can restrict freedom of action. Sometimes when we choose a path, it means we're letting go of other paths, some temporarily and some permanently. With your degree, you've all made a commitment to yourself, to your chosen subject, a commitment to the University of Manchester. And for a moment, that has been your focus. Today is a real celebration of the results of that commitment to your academic journey. It's a celebration of the process of showing up every day, of writing reports, doing the practicals, rounding up your teammates, tracking down professors, and spending hours solo, maybe even days, getting really deep into your subject, digging deep and understanding who you are. Today is a celebration of the commitment you've made to yourselves, to the families, and to the world. That moment and that commitment now stands with you for a lifetime. The University of Manchester is now part of who you are, so when you go out, you will feel the pull, as I do, back to this red brick institution, to those famous arches out front. This place has helped shape your knowledge of your chosen craft, and will hold lifelong friendships of a very shared experience. So as you go forth today, whatever happens, be clear on the commitment you're making, your why, because it will take you through the long nights, the heavy days, the deep work required for success. And when challenge comes, embrace it for the growth as that commitment becomes your driving force for a better future, for you, for your families, for the world. Well, just uh, one more congratulatory speech. My name is Ken McPhail, and I have the privilege of being the new head of Alliance Manchester Business School. So on behalf of everyone at AMBS, it does give me enormous pleasure to see you all here today. Whether you've traveled from near or far, we are incredibly proud to share this moment in your lives with you. You have indeed graduated uh, from one of the world's most rigorous business programs and this is a huge achievement and I am incredibly proud of each and every one of you and to have you as AMBS alumni. Today is significant for me personally. It's my first graduation address as head of school and over the past four months since I took up the post in August I have learned so much. It's given me a new perspective on the importance of Manchester to our students and alumni and I am genuinely humbled by the talent uh, within the school and hugely envious of the opportunities that you have in front of you. You are now part of an alumni network, a family of over 60,000 brilliant minds across 169 countries, all of whom have graduated from AMBS since we began this journey in 1965. Think of that potential to transform the business world. Today marks an exciting new stage in your journey, but know this, wherever your career takes you next, you will never be far from the support, advice, and fruitful connections offered by our community of AMBS alumni and colleagues. Now, as you know, at the heart of what we do at AMBS and the university more broadly, 
are three core goals. Research and discovery, teaching and learning, and social responsibility. Our commitment to these goals marks us out as a powerhouse of knowledge, continuous development, and community. And your commitment to these goals will create a lasting legacy for you and your family, but also for the business world and beyond. Today, more than ever, we are responsible, business graduates, business people are responsible for creating a more sustainable future and making a real difference globally. Many of you are already impacting future sustainability through the roles that you have in the companies where you work and where you will go on to work. I urge you always to strive to learn and explore to share what you know, and most importantly, make an active, positive contribution to your communities and support them to thrive throughout your careers. AMBS's motto is original thinking applied. And as you look forward to your future career, I encourage you to commit to your own originality Develop your own way of looking at the problem. Find your own novel, new, innovative solution and make a difference on the world. For this will indeed continue to set you apart and enable you to take the essence of AMBS with you on your future career journey. My vision for EMBS, and I hope you share it and will get involved within it, is to remain at the forefront of innovation, sustainability, social responsibility, and transformation. Helping businesses to create economic value that we fundamentally need to transform the economy here in the UK and internationally, but also we need to create social value too when we are doing this. Next year, we will join the university in celebrating 200 years, our bicentenary. And then the year following in 2025, we will celebrate 60 years since the founding of AMBS. You are now part of that history, but you will also write its future. One final message. To do that, you will need to be a lifelong learner. And our doors will always be open to you to continue your learning throughout your career. In an ever-changing, dynamic world, we should continue to be curious and equip ourselves with new thinking. So please do stay in touch. You're now part of the AMBS family. You can do that through our alumni teams. Visit us occasionally if you can. But finally, congratulations again on your magnificent achievement. I will now hand you over uh, to uh, Xavier, who will call out your names so you can come and join us on the stage to collect your degrees. Congratulations. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Master of Business Administration, Olaitan Adeyanju Adeoye. Olayemi Yewande Awobona. Mosin Abbas. <laughs> Ola Bodhi Ademola Adeoti. <laughs> Asan Adilov. <laughs> Ali
Amr Abbas Saeed Al Kurdi. Badr Al Basim. Nick Kurian Alex. Talal Al Marzouk. Anas Fahad Al Mubarak. Mohammed Michal Al Sharif. Abdul Hadi Abdul Rahman Al Thwade. Yuka Aota. Rachel Lavender Appleby. Aya Asaf. Shireen Asi. Prashant Atkar. Ian Andrew Barlow. Katerina Beleshova. Jose Ricardo Vento da Silva de Maso. Rahul Batacharya. Alex Bucock Heng. Gary Burnett. Kelly Louise Byrne. Bruno Capuso. Austin Ioannen Chaco. Chan Chi Yuan. Dan Chen. Chen Yao. Ying Lai Yuki Cheng. Kang Yun Chen. Andrew Stephen Clark. Fabrizio Cortinovis. Ryan Scott Dagnall. Ledwo Dai. Unormar David Eze. Carito Patricia de la Cruz Salazar. Michael Dowding. Boniface Chibuike Egege. Basem Mustafa Albilla. Mohammed Sami Elganini. Abel Yeromil Escobar Guerra. Ricardo Jorge Pascual Garcia Ferreira. Paulo Ferrucci. Ian Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Debbie Adele Foley. <laughs> Alexei Galushko. <laughs> Mark James Gaskell. <laughs> Paul Gorin.
Christopher Michael Greenwood. Akash Gupta. Alexander Thomas Hall. Matthew Paul Haslam. Ali Hedgem. Matthew Hemmings. Dominic Heng. Noor Herzala. Kayun Ho. Xin Huang. And also, as best global executive MBA student, Gareth Nicholas Hughes. Khaled Yosri Abulnaga Ibrahim. <laughs> Abdelaziz Kasim Ili. <laughs> Hugh James. <laughs> Yufei Jiang. <laughs> and also, as best global MBA student, Vlad Victor Giman. <laughs> Russell Jones. Ayaz Azar Kapawajwala. Yasuhiro Kawasugi. Michael Kelly. Isht Kana. Darius Nitter. Anna Koryakovskaya. Jacob Bramwell Lakin. <laughs> the Risi Prasanna Lakshmi. <laughs> Mei Ting Lau. <laughs> Diane Lee. <laughs> Xin Yang Lee. Pi Shui Lim. <laughs> Tiong Kyong Lim. <laughs> Yan Lin. <laughs> Judy Lo. <laughs> Sabrina Huijin Luo. Meijia Liu. Asi Christi Marianta. Hugo Maronile. Adam Mezus. Kisara Mizuno. Mahajonka Jackson Msina. <laughs> Zi Ho Mok. <laughs> Nico Santeri Moro. <laughs> A 
Abdul Motlib. Luke Morfin. Marianne Wanjiru Mwai. Marwan Okla. Olawali David Olaleye. Feng Jun Oi. Joseph Onyekachukwu Osogwe. Chong Meng Pe. James P. Ramalingan Pragasam. David Pratt. David Bose Poconnell. Moazam Kureshi. Natalie Chehade Raje. Jacob David Retekin. Rachel Bridget Ricketts. Ruben Gustavo Rodriguez Parga. Kate Rose. Munyaradzi Mugove Shobne. Mohammed Jamal Badereddin Salah. Omobolanle Toyosi Salau. Vivian Savia. Sasa. Rohit Kumar Sharma. Craig Gary Shaw. Abhishek Shivraj. Anthony Tsai Yin Sum. Johannes de Pod Viarga Sima Marta. <laughs> Matthew Smith. <laughs> Bin Song. <laughs> Sarita Somarajan. <laughs> Allah Azam Husni Sawan. Wen Su. <laughs> Thapadit Suksakorn. <laughs> Chris Joseph Taggart. <laughs> Yishan Tang. <laughs> Tang Chien Ti. Darren Fain. <laughs> Patrick Luis Nicodemus Tingson. <laughs> Chun An To. <laughs> Nam Huang Tran. And Kamdilim Joy Usubulu. <laughs> Cristina Rosa Vilela. <laughs> Mar
Manuel Villegas Díaz. Stefan Sebastian Watwa. Pratnur Walia. Matthew Duncan Walsh. Ying Wang. Windy with Yestuti. Joel Ihani Wigway. Y. E. Wong. Philip Lee Wright. Wei Zhe Su. Elizabeth Lee Fong Young. Heng Yi Zhang. Lia Lei Zhang. Nicole Lei Zhang. Inesh Zhao Duamaral. Wonzi Cheng. Anar Zulfugarov. Min Zhang. Oluwatobi Olatunji Omotomayo. And for the degree of Masters of Science in Management, Erin Fullen. And in International Human Resource Management and Comparative in Industrial Relations, Rifeng Miao. And in Innovation Management and Entrepreneurship, Yiran Luo. Congratulations, you are now graduates of this great university. Please stand, graduates. Please join me in congratulating the graduates. Graduates, please remain standing. Everybody else, please sit down. There's one group of people we haven't thanked, and these people have played such an important part in your lives at Manchester. This is the academic and professional services staff who supported you through your time here at Manchester. Will you join me in thanking the staff of the university? Many congratulations from all of us on your amazing achievement. We wish you every success and happiness in your future lives and careers. As I said through my speech, remember the university motto, knowledge, wisdom, humanity. Don't forget the humanity bit. <laughs> Go out and make a difference. All that remains for me to do is to wish you a wonderful evening of celebrations and a safe journey home. I declare the ceremony closed. Please stand. <laughs>